At the Hollywood studio of Able Image Research, a new way of creating animation is being developed. They are using the computer as a tool for making characters move in believable, lifelike ways. From the breakthroughs here has come animation which would have been impossible just a few short years ago. In 1984, a challenge was placed before these filmmakers. They were given a storyboard depicting a robot who had to move like a woman. This had never been achieved using computer animation. This is a classic story of a commercial that can't and shouldn't be made, but it's like the little engine that could. We had to build the robot and her environment in pieces. It means everything from the smallest finger joint to the torso to the neck to the body parts, the leg, the arm, 18 pieces had to be put together and created for the computer. This entire image really never existed outside the computer itself. Once the basic design was completed, a foam model was made. This provided three-dimensional measurements needed by the computer. For accuracy, the model was sliced into cross sections and all the dimensions were fed into the computer and stored as digital information. How's that? That's pretty good. Um, okay, now the bottom lip looks a little thick. Maybe we should Do take... Can translate them all up? Yeah, what, maybe from like 25 to 34 or something. Okay, well, I think that looks better. The biggest challenge was making the robot move, which would bring her to life. Director Randy Roberts invented a technique called brute force animation, which did the job. A live model was filmed, and the spots painted on her body were used to make a skeleton drawing with the computer. This stick figure animation is called a vector graphic. Once the motion was correct, the robot and her space condo had to be filled in or rendered. These 3D computer images are called raster graphics. These pictures required millions of bits of information which the computer had to calculate. But the result is one of the most unique commercials ever made. Even in the year 3000, the question will be, what's for dinner? The answer will be in a package that saves energy, nutrients, and trouble. A package that can last 